Okay, so this is going to be my next video on Windows Home Server, and I'm going to start going through the basics of how to make Home Server work for you. So the first thing you're going to want to configure on your Home Server is computers and backups. In this case, I've only got one computer hooked up to my Home Server. You can see right now, it says the status is not backed up. Well, if I could zoom in and focus, that would be terrific right about now. Okay, well, anyway, it says not backed up, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure backup. So welcome to the backup configuration wizard. I click next. Please wait while the wizard collects information about this computer. What it's doing right now is it's finding out how many hard drives are on my computer, how full it is, and it's calculating uh, how much space it will take on the home server, etc., etc. Choose the volumes that you want to back up. So I'm going to back up my system reserved volume as well as my C local disk. You can add folders to exclude from the backup. So by default, it does not back up recorded TV user temporary files, uh, shadow volume, hibernation file, a few key things. It does not back up the recycle bin folder. So if there's anything you want it to not back up, you can go ahead and add it here. So it's got a whole list of all of the directories. For example, I don't need it to back up the ATI folder. Yeah, there's something I don't need it to back up. I don't need it to back up the NVIDIA folder. So let's click next. Congratulations, you have successfully configured KPC to be backed up. It was that simple. So now I could run a backup now, but the whole process will probably take about 20 minutes and I'd rather keep filming this video. Um, but you can also, okay, configure backups. Hold on a second. Um, view backups. Oh yeah, here's how you view the backups. So from here, you can, you'll see a list of all of the backups that you've created. You can change settings for individual backups. So you can set them to either be managed automatically which will be in your master settings, which I can show you in a minute. You can set it to keep this backup forever or delete it the next backup cleanup. Now, if you highlight one of the backups and click details, you can actually browse the entire backup of your hard drive from this Windows Home Server console. You can drag and drop files onto your desktop and it is a terrific way to get back, you know, uh, your mom's Word document that she accidentally deleted uh, because it will, keep, it will keep it for as long as you tell it to keep the backups. So now we have figured that out. So why don't I go and show you the backup settings and then we'll call that a video. So backup time. Home computers are backed up during the backup time. That's fairly self-explanatory. So I'm going to set mine to run from uh, 3 a.m. because I definitely won't be awake at that time to 7 a.m. I'm never up that early. So that's when it'll run all the backups. Here is the automatic backup management. So when you say uh, manage automatically, these are the rules it will follow. So I like to keep a good number of daily backups. Uh, I don't particularly care about the weekly backups because I, I rarely go into those. And then I like to keep a good number of monthly backups as well. Something about the backups though is that it does not use up the full, like this computer has 100 gigs used on the drive. It doesn't use up 100 gigs every time you back up. It only re-backs up the data that has actually changed. So storing a bunch of backups of the same computer, if you're not completely formatting and then refilling your hard drive with completely different stuff, actually won't take up a ton of space. There's also a button here to repair the backup database if it becomes corrupted. This can happen if a hard drive fails, but it's not a huge deal. And then you can also clean up the database now to get rid of any backups that you don't want. So I'm going to click OK. And that is how to configure backups on the Windows Home Server. It's really quite simple.